Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that earwax removal video today. Um, so we've got one patient in this video. This patient's earwax was really, really tough. What you can see here is it's very dry, it's very crumbly, there's a lot of dry skin mixed in with it as well. So what I'm doing is using the standard size on the tube here just to remove some of this wax. Uh, what I'm trying to do is lift it from the canal wall, but you can see the canal wall skin itself is very, very dry. So this is almost layers of uh, layer upon layer of dry skin and wax it's all mixed together and it's formed this very hard uh, quite sticky substance here which is really difficult to, to sort of peel off the canal at the moment so we're just getting this a little bit of a, a sort of a wiggle trying to pull this off the you can see the layers as we lifted that up how it's how much it's stuck to the canal. You can actually see the canal wall skin sort of pulling with it uh, as we're going down there. Uh, but just a very, very tough old plug, this one. So I've popped a little bit of olive oil in. Uh, two reasons, really. First one is because it's a little bit stickier underneath, it's just going to help it to stop, uh, stop it from re-sticking. But the other thing is you do tend to find oil just loosens everything up a little bit in that ear canal. Makes it just a little bit easier to pull this out. So we've got a good grip on this little bit of dry skin. Uh, on the one side, so I'm just working that out because a lot of this uh, drier wax material will have dried around some of these skin layers, so it means it's going to hold everything in really, really tightly. So we've managed to break a little bit. There we go. It's just starting to come away. You can see that top section pulling forwards. There we go. You can see how that flicked back as it broke away, so it's really held in there very, very tightly. We've got a nice uh, flatter section here, which gives us a really, really good suction grip. You can see all that layer of skin that's coming away there behind it. Long, long pieces of skin here. And then behind that, just tucked behind it, you'll see this plug of dark, hardened wax as well. So we've got everything going on in this particular ear canal. Um, managed to get a grip there on this, the, uh, the bottom section. What I'm trying to do here is just wiggle this forward. So hold on to that bottom section and just maneuver it down the canal. Just pull it down slightly, there you go. You can see it's slowly creeping its way down. The reason we couldn't go above this one with a tool where it was sat, it was just so perfectly formed to the shape of the ear canal. Uh, to get any of the tools behind it, you're gonna need uh, a little bit of a gap to be able to get things like the Rosen insert or the St. Bart's hook in here. Now, for the second ear canal, we do throw everything at the second ear canal. I think we use every single instrument, I think, on the second ear canal to get that one clear. Uh, but you can see on this first one now, it's really starting to break down much more easily. Got this last plug to maneuver out. A little bit of a wiggle to help it on its way. And you can see a very, very uh, hardened up piece of wax, that one. Now, wax doesn't form that deep in the ear canal, so I do think there was probably a little bit of Q-tip use just to push it in. But this is what it looked like to start with. You can see all that dead sort of skin material at the entrance looking much clearer than when we go back in. Now, this one is very similar. So this is the patient's other ear canal here. Um, you can see there's dry skin, there's a plug of wax, there's all sorts going on in this one as well. Uh, you can see as soon as I put the suction in, it picked up this little flake of dry skin from the ear canal wall there. And we're just starting to pull uh, these little bits down. There you go, just loosen it, as we did on the other side, loosen it from the canal wall. Now I'm just checking, now there is a tiny little gap, so it's small enough to get the Rosen inserter in. If the wax is hard enough, then the Rosen insert is going to be able to pull that whole plug forwards. But what you'll see is that the wax isn't as tough as it was on the other side. So what we've got here is a slightly hardened up piece of wax, but it has this very soft core to it. So around the outside, we talk about armadillo wax. So this sort of uh, this very, very tough external layer to the wax, which has become very dry. And then this very mushy insides as well. Uh, but the Rosen inserter, unfortunately, is great for, for, for pulling out sort of hardened bits of wax and plugs and things like that, but not so fantastic when it comes to this softer material, just because the end is so thin, it pulls straight through. So we've switched it up. Now we're gonna use the Jobson horn, which is much better for this more uh, softer type wax that we have here. So you can see I'm just sneaking over the top Pulling this down, there we go. So you can see it's starting to break away that very, very um, thick, more sticky type material in the center of this wax here. Here we are. And when you look at the ear canals, you can understand why the outer part of that, that wax is as hard as it is. It's because the ear canal walls themselves are quite dry, so it's actually drying the outer section of the wax, hardening, toughening it up, 
uh, we just managed to start to break it down now. Unfortunately with this plug, what we were hoping was going to happen with the Jobson horn going behind us to, to roll the plug sort of Indiana Jones style all the way down the ear canal wall. But what we're getting here is because that center is just so sticky and the outside parts are so hardened up and stuck to the canal wall, as we try and roll, it's not actually rolling, it's just kind of spreading and, and squishing the wax against the canal wall. So I've switched back to suction now just to try and remove some of these harder pieces around the outside edge. You can see I'm starting to try and lift here. Now we've created this gap in the center by removing that central portion of the wax. We can now lift everything up uh, to try and wiggle this out. So you can see we've got a, a, a train really hard to wiggle. The reason we wiggle is because it's going to be attached most of the way down the ear canal. So if you kind of wiggle it back and forth, you're breaking that adhesion all the way down the canal. You're more likely to get the plug out. Uh, so, so far, <laughs> I hope you're keeping tabs of these tools, guys. So far, we've had um, we've had Zolna tube, we've had Rosen inserter, we've had the Jobson horn, and now we've got the crocodile forceps coming into play. Great for this tougher outer section of wax and skin that you can see coming away there. There we go. Let's see if we can get to this next section. It's working quite well so far, so we'll stick with the forceps. There you go. You can see that wiggling motion as well coming into play there, just uh, and, and sort of raveling and teasing this wax out. Uh, but now this next section is not going to work particularly well with the uh, with the crocodile forceps here. So I'm just trying to lift this last section, but this last section is welded to the canal wall. So I'm going to bring the St. Bart's hook in at this point. Let's see if this does any uh, any good for us. So we've got behind it. I'm pulling forward. You can see it's starting to loosen, but what's happening is the actual, uh, the sort of bend on the, the hook itself is just pulled. You can see straight through the middle of that wax. So the bottom section is really tough and kind of holding on to the, the, the bottom portion of the ear canal, but this top section is still that little bit more softer, stickier material that we found in the center of this wax. So I'm just using the side here just to see if we can pull this down. I'm aiming to try and get some of the harder material at the base of the canal to try and get that to move forwards because it's going to take the whole plug with it when it does. Um, but it's just loosened up so much stuff in there. It's, it's difficult to see then. So let's just start removing some of this looser uh, material from the edges here. Let's give this a little bit of a wiggle as well. There we go. You can see it's a very odd consistency. You've got these really dry chunks mixed in with this really sticky uh, clay type wax as well. Not a great mix uh, as far as wax removal is concerned. As we lift you can see all that dry skin peeling. That's what's been holding, anchoring this, this plug into place. So it's been really, really holding on to this very, very tightly. You can see that dry skin all starting to peel away. I've popped more olive oil in now just because it is so sticky and so dry. There we go, just lifting from the sides here, teasing this into the center uh, of this wax, uh, of the canal, sorry. Just lifting from the side now, you can see it's really, we've got the, we've got the left hand side really mobile, but our right hand side is it's still pretty stuck. And you can see that layer of dry skin coming away underneath it there. So this is what's been anchoring everything in this ear canal into place. You can see it flicking up there in front of the uh, the suction machine. If you look just underneath, you'll see that layer goes all the way back, right underneath that plug that we're trying to move here. You get just a bit of turbo, <laughs> bit of turbo wiggling going on there. We've managed to loosen it now. We've managed to detach it from that skin layer. The skin is still in there though, so we've got that plug out. Let's have a look at the skin. You can see it going all the way from the bottom up to that one side there. Uh, so let's use a, a, a fine end on this. Let's see if we can lift uh, this dead skin. Let's see how far back this goes. You can see how it just peels away from the side. Look at it all coming away from that canal wall there. Uh, really having to sort of peel all this very old, hardened up dry skin layer uh, off the canal wall. Look how it's coming away. And that's what's been anchoring everything into place. So this is what's been drying that outer section of wax as well there. Um, but it is 
just, I'm starting to fold it over. I'm running out of room because obviously when you're peeling, you want plenty of room to peel away from the surface you're, you're, you're peeling the, the skin from. Um, the difficulty here is obviously we're in quite a narrow part of the canal. So I've got it as far as I can one way. So now I'm gonna have to shear it. So I'm gonna have to hold on, bunch all that looser skin into the suction tube and then pull downwards to try and shear, but it's not really budging. So we're gonna bring the crocodile forceps back in. This is great for skin. Look at that peeling away. You can see how it just loosened up from that one side there. Uh, so I'm just going to get this last little section here. Let's see if it, I'm hoping this is going to come out in one piece. It's just going to reposition the forceps. It's taking that top section away really well. But now we've just got this bottom section that's just lifted up. So I'm going to switch back now to the fine end. And the same thing again, bunch it all in together. There we go. Uh, you can see we're just kind of holding on. Look how that's trying to peel. It's really kind of tough, tough old stuff. Now I'm starting to, there we go, it's starting to break away. If we can bunch, there we go, there it goes. So we can see that dead skin. You've got those couple of little lifts, but they're not gonna peel away. They're gonna stay quite solid. But this is what it looked like beforehand. And this is what it looks like after. So patient here is a lot, lot better. So we have five centimeters, two inches worth of wax and skin that we removed from that particular patient's ear canal. So yeah, it was uh, quite a bit in there. You'll see it's uh, just coming through. There we go, you can see it there a little bit better. Um, but there's yeah, quite a bit of uh, skin holding all that in. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did voicing it over. I shall see you again on Thursday. Uh, so as always guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears and take care of one another. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye everyone.